Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, intuitive messenger, and author. And this is the weekly message from Metatron for May 18th through 24th. This is the weekly message from Archangel Metatron for May 18th to May 24th. So, so welcome. I'm very happy you're here. So I've pulled the cards and I'm just going to confirm that I have the right cards. I think I do. And so we're going to begin. So the first thing that I want to say is that um, in the weekly spread, we only use seven cards and one card is not for each day of the week. One card is not for the, the each day of the week. All the cards work together cumulatively and they're about the whole message for your week. Okay, so these are going to be um, your themes for the week, things that are going to come up, things that may catch your attention. And so we're going to get started. So the first card we have is clarity. Go within. Okay. The second card we have is air. Fly free. So I'm already noticing a little bit of a pattern here and that your mind is going to be very important because the two blue colors and it's like they're both giving like very air type energy. And so, and that air, air has to do with the mind. So we're going to be looking at our minds and they all have, and they also have similar imagery with the diamonds and the crystals and things like that. Okay. So we have clarity, the first card. Um, I get, oh, and I'm using the Amanda Ellis Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Uh, and I'll include the link for that deck below. I just think it's an awesome deck. Uh, no, I'm not an affiliate or a sponsor or anything. I'm just recommending it. And so, uh, yeah, that's the deck we're using. The third card we have is love, relationships and harmony. And oh, the other thing I wanted to say is that as I was shuffling, these three cards fell out of the deck. So definitely some strong messages here about clarity. There's going to be a need to go within. That's part of your weekly message. Air, flying free, freeing yourself. Excuse me. Love, relationships, and harmony. Okay. So the fourth card is another diamond. So interesting. So we already have three diamond-like shapes in the reading. Whites. Purity and innocence. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So that's a very going to be a very, very strong theme for um this week. Very interesting. Let's see what more, what more we have here. Ah, the cup of replenishment. Okay. So we're continuing on from the theme of last week because this came up in the last week's reading as well. The cup of replenishment and how important it is that we replenish ourselves so that we can nourish and, our, nourish and sustain ourselves. And we do that by going within. And then we next have the wake up call, listen and take note. This also came up last week. Okay, so again, so see how we're, so you can go back and listen to last week's message, but we're building on that theme about the wake up call. We have to listen, we have to pay attention so that we can go within. Hmm. Okay, and so the overall theme, we, the overall theme for the week is going to be duality, duality, <laughs> duality and balance. Balance is needed. So here we go. So the overall theme will be duality. The overall theme for this message will be duality. That balance will be needed. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And again, we just have a lot of the similar colors, which is blue. Blue has to do with the, um, excuse me, blue has to do with the throat chakra. Um, but when I'm, for me though, I'm getting that there's going to be a lot of things going on with people's mind and how they're going to need to be clarifying their mind. They're going to need to be purifying their mind. They're going to be needing to letting go of old thoughts and just kind of like, I'm just getting the image of like, it's time to brush away the cobwebs. And so if it, if your thinking is feeling a little foggy this week, or you kind of have some spider webs, I don't know, I'm getting that 
cobweb image, some spider webs in the corner of your mind. That's just spirit's way of letting you know, like you have some dusting to do. You have some internal dusting you need to do. You have to clean out your thoughts. That means you have to clean out the messages you're telling yourself, the things you're saying to yourself and what you, um, and what you believe about yourself. So yes, you have to dust off your internal cobwebs and you have to just kind of, you know, um, purify your mind. You're going to need to purify your mind and you're going to have to go into the corners of your mind and those places that you may have not wanted to pay attention to and really look at the sticky stuff that may be still sticking to your internal mind, um, your internal mind, you know what I'm trying to say, um, your internal self, like. You, like this, this is a very strong message here with the with the diamonds because you know a diamond is a very clear stone and it can be a very clear stone and that the diamonds in this picture are showing like purity and clarity and like how it's this week is going to be a, a week of um refinement and really like polishing like really dusting and polishing uh my cat is trying to join us she is not invited please go sit down over there. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Go sit down, please. Okay. All right. So it's really about like clarifying your mind, really um, keeping yourself as centered as possible and really spending time to go within because when you go within, you'll be able to fly to new heights. You'll be able to fly free. And you'll be able to purify your mind and get to a new state of clarity and peace. And this card says purity and innocence. Okay. So she may show up in the background, but I'm going to act like, stop it. Oh. Excuse me. So, yes, it's going to be really, really important that you pay attention to that and you really look at your thoughts here. That's going to be, that's coming through very, very strongly. And also that, so if the center of the reading, the theme for the week is overall theme is balance. And so you're going to be needing to be, bring balance between your mind and things having to do with your emotions. Because this is called, this is saying love, relationships, and harmony. Yep. You're being called on to have more internal harmony. And the cup of replenishment, again, going within and then sipping and taking, drinking from the cup of replenishment. And you can only go through, you can only um, take sustenance from the cup of replenishment by going within. And so Spirit is saying, you cannot overlook that this week. You have to really spend some time within. You have to spend some time nurturing yourself. And you have to spend some time really refilling your own cup, reservoir of spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, peace. You're being encouraged to meditate this week. Um, if you have a meditation practice, you're being encouraged to be very consistent with it this week. If you have, um, if you don't have one, um, you know, try to do some mindful breathing, um, maybe sitting out in nature just taking five deep breaths when you're doing like even mundane tasks that can be very useful, but you're really going to have to be, you know, find your balance this week and really steady yourself. And also spirit is calling on us to listen and take note. So pay attention to the internal signs and symbols we receive this week. And because spirit is going to be sending us signs and symbols and, you know, to wake us up other thing I was guided to do is to use a deck I use in my psychotherapy correction I don't use it in my psychotherapy I got this a very very long time ago it's called the interactive cards so one of the psychotherapeutic systems I'm trained in is called internal family systems you can give that a google if you care to but I'm trained in that system and uh, that psychotherapy method um and I will say it's very good for explaining how our internal system works. So last time I linked to a book in the description by Jay Early called Self Therapy because last week the themes were um, the inner child. Uh, and so 
definitely and something uh inner child detaching from drama and some other things and so it was basically saying teaching you how to work with your internal self to balance your emotions and things like that and understand how your internal system is working and so this week i was guided to um, bring out my interactive cards i bought these a long time ago never have used them in sessions with clients but I was guided to pull one for myself, just, you know, letting spirit know I wanted to connect, use this as part of my um, work. And the card I pulled was very, very accurate. And I was, and I confirmed with spirit that I am to use this card today. And so with this card, the card we pull, I'm just going to pull one card. And so the card I pull for this is going to be about the shadows, you know, the shadows that we have within us and the shadow that may come up for us this week, because we have our message from Archangel Metatron, um, we're getting about clarity, the ne the need to go within, air, flying free, love, relationships, harmony, white, purity and innocence, gold, cup of replenishment. Oh, and that's the other thing. We have two colors here, two white and gold. Um, and then wake up call, listen and take note. Um, but I also want to pull a card to talk about our shadow. I want to put a pull a card to talk about our shadow. And we have to be willing to look at all sides of ourselves. Like I'm not one of those people who gives a spiritual message and is like, it's all hunky-dory. No, when we come down to this dimension, we're, you know, according to all reliable sources, those of us who choose to come down on this journey, we we think that we are capable of it. You know, we, we're we very strong. We're very stubborn. We feel like we can do it. Now, we forget that we make this, we forget that we do this, and then we get down here and it's a total S-H-I-T show. And then we're confused and we're wondering why in the hell we would have done this and all this other type of stuff. But um, it is what it is. We're here. We chose to be here as bitter as some of us are about it. And, you know, it's, it's part of the process. So I'm not, I don't give hunky dory spiritual messages. I try to be as balanced as possible about um, the love and the unconditional love spirit has for us and that the work we have to continue to do as human beings to work through our shadow so that we can take in higher and higher volumes of light. Okay. So spirit, what's your message this week regarding our shadow? What parts of our shadow should we be on the lookout for this week? What's our shadow should we look out this week? Okay. Parts of our shadow should we be on the lookout for this week? Mm. Oh, interesting. Look how interesting interesting this is. Another card about balance. So balance is going to be the theme for this week. Oh, wow. Look at this. So we have a girl and she's walking on a tree limb that's extended far from the tree, right? So she's out on her own. And so some of you may be feeling this week that you're out on your own, you're having trouble balancing things, but spirit is saying they got you, right? They are here with you. They are, they have you. They're going to help you find your balance. And so the shadow for this week or the, the, the humanness that we need to work on this week is, you know, where we feel out of balance, where we feel like we're walking out on our own on a ledge. And we don't feel supported because look at this girl. So interesting. So, and you know what this card is very much like, this is, this is reminding me of the fool in the tarot. And um, because in that card, he's about to step off a cliff and the dog is barking with at him. And she's about to, she's out here on her own and her little doggy is barking at her. You know what I'm saying? So there's something out there about, about, you know, excuse me, do not be foolhardy this week. Do not just jump out there. I mean, you can if you want to, but just make sure you have proper support. And, you know, um, maintaining your balance this week is going to be very, very important. You are being encouraged to, mm, I was going to say, I was going to say you were being encouraged not to be like this girl here, but look, she has the sun behind her. So she has the sun like spotlighting her and illuminating her. And of course the sun and tarot is a very positive card, but still she's out here on her own. So 
if you are feeling like you're out here on your own, if you're feeling like you're having trouble with your balance in life, spirit is saying you're not out here on your own, but you still have to be very, very mindful. You have to be mindful of the parts of ourselves that have felt like we're just out on a limb, just doing whatever we want to do. Okay. We have to be very, very mindful of those parts of ourselves that we're holding. Because remember this card, like this girl, she's doing her best to balance and spirit is saying, yes, balance is needed. Spirit is saying balance will be needed for this week. And that, that's the overall theme for the week. And then we pull this card. So spirit is tuned in and spirit is listening. And then the other deck I wanted to pull from is my uh, Dragon Oracle cards book, excuse me, deck. I got this this week because I'm a bit of a nerd and I'm super happy about it. And so I've been wanting to use it. And so I'm just going to, and I love the dragons. And this is by the Dragon Oracle is by a Diana Cooper. Y'all may be familiar with her. I love the way the cards smell. I love the way they feel. I love the energy. Okay. So, so the dragon energy from what I've been learning about and reading is a very supportive energy. And in last week's reading, we had a dragon come up. We had the dragon come up as a strength and it was to let people know that they are protected. And so the dragon energy is a very protective energy and a very um, purifying energy. So spirit, what would the dragons like to say to us this week? One, one card from the dragons, please. One card from the dragon energy. And I'll put the link for all of these decks below. Again, I'm not a sponsor. I'm not getting any affiliate income. Um, if that ever changes, I would definitely let you know. But um, I feel like this, this could be helpful. Because with these cards, these interactive cards, these are good cards to um, to journal with. And so you can do some self-development work. So these cards are really, really good for that. Just to look at the cards and see what you see and see if there's place. Do you have that tendency in yourself, in your life to go out there and be on your own, out on a limb, no, no support? This is a pretty steep drop. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty steep drop for this child to be on, to be uh, on to be experiencing. And there may be some people who felt like this as children and they felt like as children, they were out on their own. They felt unsupported and they were just out on a limb. Okay. And so, you, you know, it's really important that you recognize this part of yourself and know that you don't have to keep doing that. You don't have to be recreating certain patterns that were rooted in, you know, whatever may have been going on in your life when you were young, instability, um, being in an unsupportive of environments, dysfunction, dysfunctional environments, traumatic environments, whatever the case may be. And so spirit is saying caution is needed and you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be out here on your own. But also this is an important card to be mindful of so that you can do some journaling work around the shadow. Okay. And also Archangel Metatron wants me to remind you that, um, when you get these messages, don't just take them in passively and skip on to the next one. Do some journaling, get out your notebook, do your thing so that these can be things that help you to clear energy blockages, help you to know where your shadow is, clear out the cobwebs so that you can think clearly. And you know, when you journal and bring all these things present in your mind, you're kind of engaging in your intuitive process, your self in your personal and self-development process. That's what I'm hearing. Because spirit and Archangel Metatron wants us all to be more engaged in our own intuitive, personal, and self-development process. Don't just take things in, in passively. And that was the message in the last, the last message as well for last week. Okay. I know I'm saying a lot here. So let me settle down and talk to the dragons. Dragons, one card, please. Mm, okay, so we have the air and water track. Again, another air card, another air card, air and water. And remember, air is in this one too. Air and water dragon helps you to connect to higher frequencies, 
trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment, and express your inner song. So that's the energy of the dragon that's going to be around for us this week. We can call in the air and water dragon. Okay, a lot of air in this reading, a lot of air in the weekly message. So there we go again. That's it. And I'll link, I'll link to this deck below for those who are interested. Because for me, when I'm watching someone who pulls cards and does all kinds of stuff, and they just kind of flash it, but I think like the deck is really cool. And then sometimes I'm not able to find the deck when I Google it. So I try to um, let people know what, what I use. Okie dokie. All right. So we're going to begin. And I'm going to let us know what Archangel Metatron has to say about this. Okay, and so let me check the numbers here. So we have a 51, a 16, we have an 11, intuition. And this card is about intuition as well. 11 in numerology has to do with intuition. So here we go, so that's that. And this card has to do with intuition as well. We have a 15, and we have a 13. We have a 23 and 23 as a to a five and all fives have to do with change. And so this may be about changing our beliefs, changing some cycles that we've been in and really reclaiming our balance. This could be about re the change that we're making is a change in reclaiming our balance. Let me see what else I'm noticing. Hmm. Yeah, there's so much blue in this. And even in even in this love, see how there's blue around the, the rose too? So there's a lot of blue in this reading. And that has to do with our voice and it has to do with speaking. And for me though, I feel like it's also having to do with our higher chakras and you know clearing out our mind so we can connect to those higher frequencies. So yes, blue typically has to do with the throat chakra, but I'm what I'm getting for this week that it has to do with clarifying our mind so that we can connect to our spirit is saying our stellar gateway chakra so that we can connect with our stellar gateway chakra. Okay, yeah. Okay. So the first card is clarity. And Spirit, what would you like to say about clarity? Thank you, Archangel Metatron. You see clarity now on something that is bothering you and making you feel out of balance. Again, so balance is coming up again because the balance is even in this message. It may be an answer that just won't come or an explanation or higher meaning to something happening around you. So often we think of clarity as arriving at one defined moment in time, but clarity can come in waves when we quiet our bodies and minds and allow a moment to just be. It can last for hours, days, or months, but it is, it, it is the still small whisperings of our soul that we often ignore and don't have time to properly hear. A state of tranquility is needed where we can stop and allow our spiritual guides to connect with us and it helps to hear them and feel their love for us. To help with this, Archangel Metatron asks you to breathe in an aquamarine energy to bring balance to your emotional state and realign and strengthen you. Slowly and deeply breathe in this blue ray to fill your entire body and then breathe it out. So we're being asked to breathe in the aquamarine ray. And it's we're getting a lot of emphasis about this because a lot of blue is in the reading. So please, you're being encouraged to breathe, breathe in the aquamarine ray, take some deep breaths and settle ourselves. Surround yourself with this aquamarine light and, and feel held, supported and lifted out of your worries, concerns and stress. Just allow them to dissolve, let go. Having, cre having created space to hear your own wisdom and spiritual intelligence, you are being reminded that no one has the answers to your questions but you. You may seek counsel and advice from others, but there must be no delegation of responsibility. Your life deserves answers from the one in control of it, and that is you. Metatron will nudge, support, and prompt you but he will not step in to answer everything for you. He serves you by empowering you to hear your own answers and trust in what you hear, feel, or sense. He will give you a piece of the jigsaw 
but will not complete it for you. Excuse me. Like the teacher that he is, he encourages you to learn and find your own way. And this starts with clearing away what is unimportant and focusing on what is. Clarity cannot be found in hectic, frantic states of being. It is found by giving yourself permission to stop, breathe deeply, and center yourself. Spend time in silence, free of distractions, noise, and chaos. You return to the simplicity of living. Spend time in silence, free of distractions, noise, and chaos. You return to the simplicity of listening to your own heartbeat and your own breath, slowing everything down to a point of deep serenity where clarity can be found. Don't push for an answer or a solution. It may be that much is still being revealed or played out in a situation or a relationship you inquire about. Realize you will be given what you need for now. Feel into the fresh perspective of the aquamarine energy gives you and allow it to aid you and help you reach diamond clarity whenever you need it. It is here waiting to serve you. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then the next card is air. Fly free. Breathe in the air today and really feel it expanding your lungs. Beautiful. With every breath. And so you're seeing here how there's a lot of air energy and you hear that you're being really called on to connect with your breath to calm and center yourself during this time. So for whatever part of the weekly message is, Whatever's happening for you this week, call on your breath. Call on your connection to your breath to calm and center you. That is what's going to help to calm and center you this week. With every breath in and out, you're given the chance to renew and replenish your body, getting rid of old, stale energy within, and accessing deep breaths of pure air. Open windows to renew the air you breathe in your homes and offices, particularly if there have been arguments or illness or stress of any description. The air elements will come in to clear, transmute, and purify all spaces that need your attention. They can get into every corner and place that needs their light, fluid energy. Maybe too, you've been feeling heavy or weighed down by the pressures and stress of life. You are reminded of the benefits of getting out into the fresh air to bring color to your cheeks and new energy to your body and to enjoy the natural sunlight available, even on the cloudiest of days. So often we can get bogged down by daily life, yet this should, yet you should find time today to spend a moment outside. Lie down on the soft grass or climb a hill to look up to the skies as you did as a child. Nothing to do but watch the clouds drift by, which I, I love to do, changing shape as they float freely in the sky. You do have time for this, Give yourself permission to connect fully with the element of air, which is so vital for wellness and for life itself. Look at the cloud designs, the angels weave in the sky for you, the smiling face, the dragon's tail, the angel wing. Many spiritual messages are given this way if only, if you only look up to see them. This is really, really interesting because I'm a cloud watcher. I was just telling my daughter the other day about the clouds. Many spiritual messages are given this way if you only look up to see them. Notice the birds flying freely with grace and speed, riding the currents of the air as the dolphins ride the waves of the ocean. The call on the seagull over the sea, reminding you of beaches, hot sunny days, and holiday, holiday time is healing also. Watch how the birds soar upwards, reminding you that you can do this too. Don't limit the height of your ambitions or your dreams. There is no ceiling other than that which you impose on yourself. And this may be why I was seeing that image of cobwebs and that we have to clear out the cobwebs in our mind. Set your sights higher and further and feel free to do so. Connecting to the air element also helps you gain a bird's eye view of life and a new perspectives and avenues that were hidden before. Sometimes all that is needed is a fresh look at situations that were hidden before. Sometimes all that is needed is a fresh look at situations that seem impossible. With the help of the air, combined with the power of the mind and heart, real breakthroughs can happen. Octotet the octatetrahedron depicted on the card is a sacred shape linking to the element of air. 
and it helps us integrate air into our hearts and to heal that which feels constricted or blocked. This may be feeling you, this may be feelings that have been pushed aside that need to be brought out into the air for release and healing or manifestation. Yes, breathe, release, fly and soar. The element of air offers much. Take its gifts freely given to you now and appreciate all that this element brings. Definitely. So that's making a lot of sense to me. I hope it's making sense to you that this is why we're getting so much air energy in this reading. We're really going to have to be clearing out our minds. We're really going to be having to clear out our thoughts. And if you know, we're still in May, right? <laughs> If you know what your life path number is, you can refer back to, if you like, to one of the life path readings here. I have them for one, in, for one to nine. And you can see for yourself how, um, what, if there's any themes around your thoughts and your thinking for the month for you as well. Because definitely, again, about the image of the cobwebs, we're being called on to clear out our minds. Okay, the next card we have is six, which is love. Card number six is linked to the planet Venus, the planet of love, harmony, and beauty. Venus also links into the goddess energy of fertility, sexuality, and victory. How do you love and how are you loved? When pulled, this card typically focuses on your relationship with a partner, although it can apply to non-romantic relationships such as with a parent or other loved one. We know that a loving bond with another when expressed in its highest form is like a rose in full bloom pictured in this card, a beautiful sacred thing. However, just like the rose, love is delicate and needs to be handled with care. It needs time, attention, and gentleness for you to benefit from its full glory and wonder. Love, once seated, can wither, can weather any storm as long as work and energy from both sides are put into it. Consider the states of your own relationships. And again, this is why balance is going to be important because if you ha are in a love relationship, you may be, be called it. You are being called on to bring balance to that relationship, and that may be that there may be a love relationship that you're having that you need to um, give some time and attention because you may have been, you know, um, concentrating on other things. Again, balance. Love once seated can weather any storm as long as work and energy from both sides are put into it. Consider the state of your own relationships. It is one that is based on mutual love. Is it one that's based on mutual love and consideration? Or is it wilting from neglect, disinterest, or, aban or abandonment? Ask yourself, when was the last time I did something for my partner? When was the last time I did something? When was the last time they did something for you? It can be something practical or emotional. Love can be expressed in many ways. But it needs to be demonstrated and felt in some shape or form, touching each other, a moment's embrace, cooking a nourishing meal, helping, offering help and assistance, or just giving each other your time and full attention, as well as the gift of your presence. Maybe you have forgotten what it is like to be truly loved, truly wanted, and truly connected to someone. Maybe you have never sh been shown love or had no real model or had no role model to inspire you. Yet, love is within us all. It is always there and energy that is freely available if we break down our walls of resistance and realize that what we give out, we get back. Like attracts like, and any test or challenge in love is there to make us question, learn, and appreciate who we are and what we feel we deserve. What we feel we deserve, we will receive back. So if you feel taken for granted or underappreciated, ask yourself why you have allowed this to happen. Then ask Metatron to help heal this pattern within you. It is a common one that many of us are wounded by. It, st it stems from not loving ourselves enough and therefore not expecting much in return. Think of how you demonstrate your love, what you expect from it, what you truly believe is its highest expression and form. From 
young, passionate love to love that has survived decades of life experience. The principles remain the same. Seek an expression of love that is the source of all creation, a state of being as natural as breathing in and out. Allow love to grow now in your heart and in your relationships. It is there for all. No one is excluded from its promise and beauty. So if you're, so one of your themes that may come up is if you're having imbalance in a current love relationship or you were never in a love relationship that felt steady, steady, nourishing, or had depth for you and you felt underappreciated, or maybe you cannot let people in because you have your own blockages around connection, then spirit is calling on us with the message to let those walls down and begin to look for ways to have deeper connections with our partner. And sometimes having a deeper connection with our partner means having a deeper connection with ourselves. And it's that if there is a love in your life who wants to love you, you know, allowing that person in. Okay, 51. Purity and innocence. The white ray calls you, asking you to put down whatever troubles you and to be soothed in her neutral embrace. Mm. And so you're getting more and more messages. We're getting more and more messages about calming and soothing this week. It's important to keep ourselves in a state of calmness and soothing. No harsh colors or tones here, just pure white to fall back into and feel its purity and innocence. On a bed of soft downy wings, on a bed of soft downy angel wings, here within the whiteness, you can reset your dial. If you've been stressed, you can relax. If you've been disappointed, you can recharge. If you've been overstimulated, you can rest. When thin white's safe ray, you return to your zero point, the starting line, the blank page, Maybe this is a time for erasing mistakes. You may have messed up or just overcomplicated something or become so confused you can no longer see the truth. You may just need to stop and do nothing to give yourself permission to just be that rather than do. Soft whiteness brings tranquility and grace, offering sanctuary to you now and instant relief to all parts of you. White is a balm to a troubled soul. It is a place to rest and revitalize, to cleanse everything away so that once again, you can feel and see your own diamond light within, polished through every experience you have been through and every lesson learned and gift bestowed. It returns you to a state of innocence that the soul needs in, in a sometimes harsh world. You are white diamond light in a world that needs to be reminded of innocence, purity, and love. Your wings, dusted with white, snowy light, show they can weather any storm and are there to serve you. Allow yourself to retreat into your own wings. Let them enfold you in, a, in white's embrace. Feel the clear quartz clarity that comes from breathing in this purified air and unfurl your wings when ready to begin again launching forth once more, restored and new. From the white stillness, every other color is birthed and able to be reflected. You may seek another color now that you have connected. You may seek another color now that you have connected for a while with white in all of her glory. Thank you for your service toward the light. Thank you for all that you are and thank you for all that you do. You are white light within a human body with wings that expand at every moment you allow love to flow from them. White brings purity and grace to you now. Stop and enjoy its beauty and the still point of silence. This is a beautiful, soothing message. Okay. 16. Okay. Let's see. We have 11. And then we have finally 23, I'm just checking here. All right, white, purity and innocence. Sorry, not 16. 
Gold, the cup of replenishment. Are you in touch with your golden state that lies within? This is a place of divine truth and light, and light where your soul resides. This is the place of divine truth and light where your soul re resides. As you prepare for initiation into Archangel Metatron's sacred circle of light, allow any heaviness to dissolve that prevents this. To be in Metatron's presence is to remember your wisdom, your power, and your holiness. No more playing small. You are here to shine and excel at anything you choose to do. Through adversity, you also can grow and evolve to reach a more enlightened and fruitful place of being. To shine for others and for yourself, this is why you are here. The golden chalice is offered for you to drink from. Its golden nectar renews and revitalizes your whole energetic and auric system, which seeks upgrades to a higher vibration and more light. Reach for this cup when you feel weary or in difficulty. Drinking its nectar brings sustenance to the cells of your body that need its light to thrive and radiate health and well-being. Gold is given to the one that has earned its reward. The person who has been of loyal spiritual service and yet may be depleted as a result. You may need to take some time out to rest recuperate and recharge at this time. You are one of Metatron's angelic helpers on this earth, and he seeks to honor that through the gift of this special chalice. It is sacred, and so are you. Receive its help now. The gold takes away any fear and any doubts you may have and replaces them with certainty, strength, and centeredness. You feel your solar plexus being replenished with, excuse me, you feel your solar plexus being replenished by this gold, recharging you to optimum spiritual power and might. The golden light confers protection to a cocoon of gold surrounds every part of you. You're always safe within it and able to receive as well as give positive light energy. With Metatron's golden ray bestowed on you today, you are eternally blessed and loved. The infinity symbol on this card reminds you of the union between you and all angelic beings of light who are with you now and always will be. An additional meaning of this card is the link to the Ace of Cups in the traditional tarot. Here we see a single cup, which also symbolizes true love, particularly if partnered in a spread with the card six, love. Okay, cool. So let me repeat this. So it's saying that these two cards go together. So you, we have both for this week. So it's saying an additional meaning of this card is it links to the Ace of Cups in the traditional tarot. Here we see a single cup, which also symbolizes true love, particularly if partnered in a spread with the card six, which is, which is the love card. So, and that was coming up about those people who are in or romantic relationships. The golden infinity symbol is also linked to a soulmate union or twin flame partnership. Both are being highlighted at this time and blessed with Metatron's golden ray. The cup here offers communion with another, a meeting of minds, bodies, and souls blessed by spirit. Golden replenishment comes to you now just when you need it. Okay, lovely. Okay, number 11, wake up call. Listen and take note. Card number 11 links to the planet Pluto and rebirth. It also relates to the 1111 coded wake up call programmed to make us sit up and take notice of spirit. It is time to step into the deepest trust and heed the clarion call of the mighty Archangel Metatron. This call cannot be drowned out by fear or denial of that which is before you now. It is time to step into the deepest trust and heed this wake-up call, which may be spiritual in nature or affecting something very physical around you now. Yet, you have been aware for some time that something needed to change, 
something is coming or that a situation can no longer carry on. Your inner voice may have whispered, but Metatron now shouts the warning message loudly for you to hear. You may experience ringing your ears, popping of the energy, or an unlocking of one or both ears as you hear Metatron call you. You may also see numbers, particularly the combination 1111, when you, which are prompting you to see things in a new way. But also to let you know that Metatron is with you. He does so with love and urgency and as a warning that, carry, to carry, that to carry on regardless, not heeding the advice and guidance carries consequences. And if this calling is ignored, your path will no longer be in alignment with your soul's true calling. The call may be set against a backdrop of challenge. You may feel that lightning strikes around you, wondering how long you can stay out of the storm without getting more wounded than you already are. You have wounds that are raw from having stayed too long, tried too much, and reached a dead end. It is time for a different approach. There is nowhere to go except into surrender. Archangel Metatron comes not to bring chaos or pain into your world, but to correct imbalance. Again, the theme of this week is balance. Balance, balance, balance. We're being called on to have balance. All of these cards are talking about some form of balance, connecting with our breath, you know, getting internal stabilization. And this is saying that Archangel Metatron comes not to bring chaos or pain into our your world, but to correct an imbalance, to bring you back to yourself and open new doors where old ones have closed. You can ignore the call, carry on as before, but he will come back and each time the call for change will be louder and more insistent. Metatron never gives up. Metatron never abandons you and always has your best interest at heart as well as everyone else connected to any event, situation, or relationship. The wake-up call signals that one the wake-up call signals that one way of doing life is now over. You need to prepare for the new and it will be done for the highest good for you and anyone else involved. What seems difficult and at times impossible will be made easier for you. There is still a short time to prepare, to evaluate, and to gather your strength, but the winds of change are here and time is running out. Metatron reaches out his arms to help you carry with grace the next stage of your journey as the call by you is heeded the skies lighten and the golden rays come back to you and the light pierces the darkness to reveal a new vision a new life and a new possibility wake up calls can be both individual affecting our day-to-day -day life and collective entwined with raising global consciousness and so there's definitely going to be um experiences with getting a wake-up call be or be and, and these messages are kind of also to kind of put things on your radar and so like this message says there could be that you have um kind of been in a slightly oblivious place and that there is a message that has been around you that you find that, that you know you're being made aware that you need to pay attention to because this card came up last week as well this card came up last week but it was card number I want to say maybe two. Okay. Okay. So we all need to take note. We need to heed the signs and symbols around us because, because change is afoot and we need to pay attention. And you don't want to be beat on beat over the head with change. You, that's why it's important to open ourselves up to it in a in a healthy way. You are asked to look at the need for balance in your life right now. And so it's this card. And I have realized I have, I don't think I've been showing you the cards each time. Maybe my bad. So here you go. We have balance. Okay. This may be in terms of your approach to life, working too hard or not working at all, looking after self or neglecting your basic needs, good diet, exercise, positive thinking. It can be, it can take myriad of forms with Metatron will often be drawn to our imbalanced masculine and feminine states and the need for equilibrium here. Maybe you need to nourish and nurture your feminine side, receiving love and being held, 
Or maybe you need to motivate and take control and action with your masculine side. Only you know. We all live in a constant state of flux, seeking equilibrium and peace. The symbol of this card is the yin and yang symbol. I'm saying that. That's not what Amanda's saying. The symbol of on this card is a powerful one that serves to remind us of this dance between two states of being, both within us and externally, that seek attention from you now. To live a balanced life is to live a healthy life. You are asked to look at situations, people, thinking, and the energy around you and see what may be out of control or conversely parched and ignored from little attention. It may be that your inner child seeks acknowledgement at this time rather than allowing your adult self to hold full sway over everything. Balance is needed in every part of who and what you are. So let me say two things. Um... So again, it says here, you are asked to look at situations, people, and thinking and energy around you and see what may be out of control or conversely parched and ignored from little attention. Again, the message is coming through that we're going to have to pay attention to our thinking and the ways we may have ignored our thinking. That's why we have a lot of air for the message this week. And also it's coming up about, about the inner child and we have an inner child here, right? And saying pay attention your inner child needs acknowledgement at this time rather than allowing your adult self to hold full sway over everything so maybe if there's a part of your inner child that felt like you know they were alone often or they were out of balance or they were always out on a limb on their own and they had to take risks and do everything themselves and they never felt like anybody was there to catch them you're being called on this week by spirit to work with this inner child and no longer ignore your inner child. Again, I'm going to put the link to the self-therapy book. I'll just keep that as part of my description. I mean, I'll put the interactive cards as well. This is an opportunity to journal and note what this, what this card is saying to you regarding your own inner child. Because balance is needed in every part of who and what you are. So often when we seek to label something as right or wrong, good or bad, and yet in life, negative and positive energies serve each other. Any experience you are living through, even if difficult, painful, or upsetting, has the hidden gift of bringing something positive to, to you now. And so when we have challenges in our life, it's not like, Oh, this is happening because it's going to be good for you. Sometimes they will. They can be very, very deeply, deeply painful and even traumatic. So that is, you know, that is true. But also know that with no matter how horrendous an experience, with time and self awareness, we can draw something positive from it, or we can help it use it in a proactive way to help us grow. Even the most horrendous things. We can say, okay, I've experienced this hurt, but how can I use this hurt for, for good? How can I use this hurt to make me a better person, a kinder person, a more compassionate person, a more empathetic person? How can I use this hurt to hold up a mirror to myself of where I need healing? You know, a lot of times when we're hurt, we want to externalize and say, it's this person's fault of that person. And this person did something to me. And all of that may be true, but you are left to deal with the experience on your own and is your responsibility to handle it in the best way possible and in the best way and the most productive way. That doesn't mean bypassing and don't act like you're not devastated or hurt, but using it in a using your pain in a constructive way. That's the only way that any of the pain we feel and experience on this journey makes any any sense is if we use it in a constructive way to heal ourselves and if we have the capacity maybe to you know be an example for others not in a preachy externalized way but just by saying that healing is possible allowing our light to shine and just you know just bring, bring just being um a light that has overcome pain and that's, it's, it's, a, it's a lifelong journey. It is a lifelong journey. And it's a process. And you have to be consistent with yourself. 
but it is possible. Any experience you're living through, even if difficult, painful, upsetting, has the hidden gift to bring something positive to you now. Nothing happens that isn't meant to happen. The soul knows what it needs to learn, to grow, and also what it's signed up for in this lifetime. So too does every other soul in your life, even if you can't understand the choices they make. Dark and light, night and day, we need the dark to show us where light still needs to be shown. We sometimes need hard, challenging times to wake up humanity and ourselves to a wider truth of reconciliation and love, to bring back light where there has long been forgotten. Rather than labeling what you struggle with as unfair and unjust, seeing only bleakness, look again and see the light within it. For those who, From those who dry your tears as they care for you, to the unexpected smile of a stranger, that pierces through the darkest day. Light is always there in the hard times too. The promise you are given is that what seems most difficult now will pass. Your life is made up of light and shade. Into each life, both sun and rain must fall, but the rainbow is always there to bridge our experiences. This card seeks for you to feel the balance of life and the flow that allows you to experience duality. One of them, one of the only places in the great universe where this is possible. They're talking about earth. Take this symbol on the card you have chosen and place it in your hands. Ask Archangel Metatron to help you see both sides to any disagreement, to feel the light within the darkest hour, to see the masculine and the feminine parts of you and to bring aspects and to bring all aspects of yourself back into equilibrium and that is duality number 23 so i'll show you this card again and the last thing we're going to read from is the air interesting her cards don't have numbers okay air and water dragon that's from the diana cooper deck but i think they're in alphabetical water right Okay, guidance, call on your blue and green, excuse me, call on your blue and green and water dragon to enter your third eye to awaken and activate your higher dimensional abilities. This will bring you crystal clear clarity and new vision and awareness of your life. Your third eye is a very sensitive psychic center. And when it is fifth dimensional, the air and water dragons clarify and protect it and enhance your ability to use it for the highest good. They then enable you to connect to Neptune, the planet of higher spirituality, to open to new enlightened understanding. Choosing this card calls on you to use your intuition as well as your spiritual knowledge and wisdom to see everything from, a, from an illuminated perspective. Air and water dragons will then surround, sur surround you and enable your life to flow. This will attune you so that your voice expresses the true notes of your soul. Okay. Again, the message from the air and water dragon is, trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, and be open to enlightenment. Express your inner song. So this is really interesting. Okay, because remember... These two cards both talked about intuition. And so intuition is another theme for this month. Okay. So I hope this made sense. I hope this is, was helpful to you in some way. Please leave me a comment about what you think, feel, and how this uh, landed with you. Um, if you would like a healing session with me, I'll have the, in, the link for that information below. I do multidimensional he healing sessions. Um, that description is on my website. And I also infuse um, the tarot where I give you, where I connect with your spirit guides. Um, if you want to see all that spelled out in more detail, that's on my website. But again, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm an intuitive messenger and I'm an author. And I'm so happy to do these messages for you. I love connecting with Archangel Metatron. I love using um, Amanda Ellis's deck. It's phenomenal. And so... I hope this blesses you and reaches you in some way. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Peace.